Welcome back to another quick tip video. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to create a 5 o'clock shadow effect for your model using this Superman bust as an example. If you haven't seen the video where I painted this guy, you can check that out here. To achieve this effect, all you need is a regular brush and a dry brush, water, pastels and a blue acrylic color. Begin by adding one drop of blue to your paint palette and spritzing it with water. Steer the mixture until well combined and then apply the brush to the area where the beard grows. Using the makeup brush, gently remove the color, leaving only a hint of tint behind. You can repeat this process a few times depending on how pronounced you want the shadow to be. If you prefer a subtle shadow, you can stop here. Before you varnish your work, you can use a dry q-tip to correct the line between the bearded and non-bearded part of the cheek. Now if you find this effect to be too subtle, let's move on to using pastels. For that I'm using a scalpel to scrape off a fine powder from the pastel stick. However, I recommend avoiding pure black as it can make your figure look like a coal mine worker. Instead, let's mix dark grey with blue and green to create a deep blue shade. Use another dry brush, ensuring that it is completely dry, don't use the wet one from the previous step, or you'll risk smearing the color. Then you just need to load up the dry brush and dab the pastel onto the desired area. After the first round you'll notice that the effect is stronger now. Use a hairdryer to blow away any excess. If you find that the color is leaning too much towards the blue side, you can add a bit more dark grey to the mix. And you can even go in with a bit of dark grey only to fine tune the shade. By now it's probably not just a 5 o'clock shadow, but more like a 7 o'clock shadow. But hey, it's Superman, I guess he needs a strong beard growth. The great thing about this pastel method is that it's hard to mess up if you avoid using straight black. And there you have it, Superman is rocking his 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock shadow. If you want a stronger gradient between the skin and bearded skin, you can do a final trimming with a q-tip. Finally, remember to warnish your model, but be sure to use a rattle can or airbrush instead of a brush to avoid smearing. Now I'd love to hear from you, have you tried creating a similar effect on your models before? What techniques do you use to achieve realistic facial features? Share your experiences in the comments below, I'm excited to see what you come up with. And with that, we're already done, happy painting!